Before 3 provides us our first bit of information about a mid-season update, King of the Hill is currently within Halo Infinite, and a content update coming in March? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So late Friday night, we got a nice little update from 343 talking about the plans moving forward, guys. I mean, looks like we got some changes coming to BTB as well as ranked settings and a little bit of updates when it comes to what's coming for mid-season content. It sounds like possibly for Halo Infinite, but let's check out this update right here. So first of all, New Shade goes and talking about Big Team Battle and the recent patch that went live and it's been a success. And they actually reported that success rates of people finding matches is up to normal now. So BTP is up and running, guys. Like things are working great, which is awesome to hear. I felt like a strip content update. Like I feel like I got new maps and new modes with uh, BTP being launched, guys. It was fantastic. But they talk about they're going to be making some changes here when it comes to the bot backfill for Halo Infinite. If you guys don't remember that if people drop out of your match, bots will actually fill in your match when it comes to playing Halo Infinite. And oftentimes the reason why people are backing out of the match is because they're most likely they're getting stomped on and when they've been currently been replacing these players with marine level bots, well, it just kind of increases the stomping even more. Which, I mean, it's kind of like one of those things where you sit through a bad match kind of thing and kind of deal with it, but they're actually going to be improving the bot difficulty. We're saying here that the bot backfield difficulty will be increased from marine to ODST level. So it's still not like crazy difficult. We're not talking like Spartan level bot backfills. That could be a little insane because I've been like, cross mat by ARs when I'm Spartan bots, so it can be a little ridiculous. So I think ODST is probably the nice little fit right there when it comes to the difficulty of that right there. And also we have some updates coming in about Ranked coming in for Halo Infinite, guys. If you don't know, Ranked has been kind of having some issues right now. Now, the spread of players has been actually rather even and kind of to where they were hoping the spread of uh, CSR would be, but there's been people finding ways to kind of get around the system, kind of exploit things. And so, it uh, looks like what's going to be happening is that 343 is planning to reset the competitive skill ranks of all players. The CSR rank that you have right now that you've worked for hours and hours for, well, that's going to get reset mid-season, it looks like. Saying specifically, we've been keeping a close eye on ranked since launch. The team has been monitoring data, pairing up with our community reports and feedback, and has some updates they'd like to go after during this season. So this is coming in during season one right here. They say right here, that this update will be changing the CSR. So after implementing these updates and giving everyone a fresh start, we expect to see players get redistributed more accurately. So maybe you might not be that Onyx player. Maybe not. Maybe not even be that Diamond player that you feel like you are. I mean, I just hit Onyx, which was a goal of mine for Halo Infinite. But uh, I mean, maybe I'm not truly an Onyx, or maybe I'm just getting underperformed right now because I feel like a lot of times I'm able to keep up with people right now who are like 1600 Onyx and maybe even 1700. But I just feel like I can just struggle so hard to rank up. Uh, they don't mention anything about making any, actual, any changes or what kind of changes they plan to make, but I guess it just sounds like since people have been kind of exploiting the system a little bit that they're doing hitting a bit of a reset button. They did state that as they get closer to the date of releasing this update, they'll give us some more detailed information about it, but I'll tell you why people have been exploiting the system. Now this Reddit post right here showcases a player who's been playing bot matches and doing well in bot matches, then goes into ranked and ends up getting like high level Onyx teammates for whatever reason. Now, I'm not gonna click on it because I don't wanna show the gamer tag and get potentially have that guy get harassed or anything that for cheating, but it's more like, I think the MMR system that's currently within Halo Infinite just isn't working as planned. This could be the reason why 343 is doing this mid-season update and resetting all the ranks and hopefully doing some fixes with the actual ranking system as well when it comes to when it comes to earning CSR and also when it comes to losing CSR because it seems like it's super easy to lose it but really hard to earn it. I've seen plenty of Reddit posts and Twitter posts saying like, hey, I've won like 13 out of my 15 games and I gained like 5 CSR, lose one game, go down like 20 CSR kind of stuff. So it's just like, it's it does the job all right, but it's not perfect and it's not that enjoyable of an experience and 3 for 3 is looking to work on that right now. Another bit of Halo information guys, it looks like King of the Hill is currently in Halo Infinite. Yeah, like it's actually in the game. Possibly this could be attached to the Tactical Ops event that will be happening next week, which I'm super excited about. We'll be covering that event as much as possible. Guys, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date whenever that goes live and what content and what kind of stuff is going to be available for us to play around with that. But 
In this recent update here, Halo.API, who's been doing a lot of great data mining for Halo Infinite information, says that the update added King of the Hill offline only in the 343 industry files. It does not seem to work at the moment though. So it seems like the placeholder stuff is there for King of the Hill to be coming right around the corner here. But my assumption would hopefully be tied with Tactical Ops event happening next week, but we just have to wait and see. But it's great to see that this mode is coming back. We have seen medals that have been leaked out already referring to King of the Hill as well. And so it's going to happen. It's more just kind of a matter of time. And it looks like that time might be coming around very soon. My guess the reason why we haven't seen King of the Hill at all in Halo Infinite is really because it kind of conflicts honestly with the Strongholds game mode where it's basically like control a point on the map and defend it, which I kind of like Strongholds a little bit more than King of the Hill, but King of the Hill definitely does play a lot different than Strongholds, but they are very similar game modes. So maybe we could see King of the Hill brought into the game at some capacity, maybe stay in the game, hopefully unlike Attrition did. But uh, I mean, I, th I think with King of the Hill that you would see it stay with the game because it's a tried and true mode. It's had decades of playing, testing, and also just a community feedback as well, where I think like if they bring back King of the Hill, I have a feeling this mode will likely stay and would be great for custom game modes. It'd be great for potentially ranked. I mean, ranked would be cool to see the King of the Hill come back into there as well. But obviously we'll just have to wait until we get some concrete information about that kind of stuff. But looking like kind of forward here, we actually have some concrete information about when the next season update is gonna happen. This tweet here coming from Sir Asia, who has definitely been a great data miner and leaker of Halo Infinite information. So he's definitely a credible source. I've sourced him multiple times on this channel, which things have turned out to be correct. He tweeted this out with this little image saying, your exclusive Halo Infinite armor coding code is redeemable now, and the armor coding will be available in game in your customization collection with the upcoming Halo Infinite 1.1.1 content update currently expected on or before March 1st, 2022. Visit halowaypoint.com for the latest details. If you have any questions on redeeming your code, please visit here. Now, I did get in contact with Sarasia about this. This is because he bought in to the nail polish promotion that's currently going on with Halo Infinite, kind of gives you like a glittery purple kind of coating. This coating right here, which look at first look, it just goes like, yeah, it's purple, but whatever. So, but when you actually look at it and zoom in, you can kind of see there's a bit of kind of a sparkly, kind of glittery kind of effect to it. Not like you see like with nail polish kind of stuff. So it is a very cool coating, very like lightly detailed, but certainly an interesting coating. And so this won't be available until the mid season content update slated for at March 1st or sometime before that. So later this month, we could be getting some actual content about Halo Infinite. And I'm assuming when that content is announced, we probably get a roadmap tied with it as well as we do know that. And I did report this earlier that the roadmap has been delayed for Halo Infinite, but there's no time frame when it will come out. But I have an assumption that it will happen this month as 343 has said, well, a month and a half now at this point to try to get together a roadmap for us to just get us idea like what's going to be happening for the rest of the year of Halo Infinite because we truly have no concrete information about that stuff. And I do like how the little blurb uh, talking about like the details of that content when it comes to the nail polish says like either on March 1st or it could be before that so uh that's kind of funny just kind of leave 343 opening like whenever they decide to do a mid-season update which I was fully expecting one to have. I think pretty much every major shooter out there, especially Call of Duty, does a mid-season update to kind of keep people coming back into the game and certainly would be very needed right now for Halo Infinite as we've basically been playing the multiplayer since November, which really was the true launch. Like they called it a beta, but it wasn't a beta. It was like the release of the game, guys. And uh, so we've been playing since November, December, and January. That's three months. And they said it was gonna be a three months cadence when it comes to having a new season. So. We should begin some new content sometime this month, and you guarantee, guys, as soon as I get some actual information about it from 343, I'll be sharing it with you guys. But if anything pops up, any leaks, any information, or any credible sources that give us some good content about what's gonna be part of that mid-season update, you know I'm gonna share it on the channel here with you guys. So my assumption with that mid-season update will most likely come with the ranked improvements, meaning that your ranks will be swapped out at that point as well, which is a shame. I kind of hate to see it happen. You know, I, did try pretty hard to get up to Onyx tier, which is kind of like one of my personal goals for Halo Infinite. But if I'm not supposed to be Onyx, then I will deal with the consequences. But uh, just so, just let you guys know, like, don't try too hard for your ranks. Don't sweat it out too much because pretty much at the end of this month, it's all gonna be wiped out. But if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I can link to all my Halo Infinite news and information right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next video.
Peace out.